Hey, Luke here again with another Call of Duty video. Here to show y'all guys some um, Black Ops 2 gameplay and discussing some Black Ops 3 news of the campaign of zombies and the actual campaign. We're here discussing uh, what characters, what drives these characters, what drives the villains, what causes conflict, and the overall just aspect of the campaign. Uh, please like and subscribe, smash that like button, and uh, sit back and enjoy, guys. I hope y'all guys enjoy this, and uh, peace out. Yo, guys, it's me, Luke, here, and I'm showing y'all guys some Black Ops 2 gameplay and discussing new Black Ops 3 info about the campaign. First, I'm going to start off with the actual campaign of the information we already know. We already know this is a futuristic time setting for the actual campaign. We've already been introduced to, to some characters and uh, overall the aspect of the conflict. Uh, resources are running low and you know, there's a fight to survive for all these resources. These, this calls for uh, drastic measures such as uh, alliances and conflicts with other countries. Anyway, guys, that's what I have to say about that. Another thing is, is the uh, overall technology. Uh, technology is going to be really, really high, and most likely, if you have no resources, it's going to be extremely, uh, you know, hard to buy stuff like that. So yeah, technology is basically smarter and more secure, especially uh, since uh, Black Ops 2, when we left off with Menendez, basically crippled the U.S. military by taking out all their drones. Another thing is. Is this going to be related to Black Ops 1 Black Ops 2? You know, Black Ops 1, it uh, pretty much started off when Alex Mason was basically uh, brainwashed by the uh, Russians, uh, by the Soviets. And then it added on to Black Ops 2 when he passed down his military heritage to his son, David Mason. And then our vi when we, that's when we meet our villain, uh, Roman Menendez, when he's mad over the U.S. government for killing his daughter. Um... Pretty much was is pretty much the whole entire reason why, but you know there's other reasons too. Um, another enemy might, we might be uh, experiencing in Black Ops 3 is terrorism. Terrorism is going is growing a big threat in um in our society today, so it won't be that surprising to see another terrorist threat uh, in Call of Duty series. Um, Advanced Warfare did it, and I will not be surprised if we see it in Black Ops 3 as well. Hey guys, another thing is, uh, the depth. Are we are we going to go uh, far into details these characters? And to me, we should. And that's what Trevor's always been doing. We need to know why these villains are acting the way they are. So they did that perfectly in the Black Ops series. And, and uh, you know, Marvel, well, Marvel first kind of did as uh, kind of, but you know, they weren't as good as, uh, as Black Ops series. So how much depth are we going to go into these characters? I'm pretty sure I would imagine a lot. Um, hmm, what else is there? Oh, yeah, the zombie uh, storyline. The zombie storyline is really complex storyline in the Call of Duty Black Ops series. Um, zombies was first introduced in the uh, World of War franchise, which it didn't really have much of a uh, storyline at all. Um, but that, the storyline really started coming out in Black Ops 1 with Rick Tolfin and all those kind of people. Um, we are now going to be re reintroduced to them in the new uh, pre-order DLC uh, that comes with the game if you pre-order it. Uh, it's a water war map, but you know, we're not going to get too far into that. Uh, so far, the Shadows of the Evil looks pretty darn cool, and we, go we are hoping to see a new storyline. Which, you know, there probably is. People have been arguing is going to be a campaign to it. No, I don't think it's going to be much of a campaign. I think it's more of a storyline that we're going to be experiencing here. A brand new storyline that includes far new um, uh, characters with new guns and new capabilities. Uh, you know, I'm not going to go far into zombies right now, but so far it looks pretty darn good. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, characters in Black Ops 3 Zombie Shadows of Evil. Uh, one character that we have that's been popping up in many articles and research is Hudson Mason. I'm oh, sorry, Hudson. Uh, Hudson has been a big character in the Black Ops series, which is clearly dead in the, um, clearly dead in Black Ops 2 campaign. But think about it. Uh, that was we're going back in time with the zombies during the 1930s and you know maybe even 40s. Um. 
So this might be a, a younger version of Hunson during his 20s. He clearly has, you know, he's wearing a hat. We just don't know who he is. Most likely, I don't think it's going to be Hudson. It, no, it could be. We just don't know. Uh, I would actually be surprised if it really is Hudson because, you know, like I guess, say we might be moving on away from that. But, yeah, was, we want to keep that Black Ops kind of uh, feel. I had to be honest, I was kind of hesitant to hear about Black Ops 3 being an other futuristic Call of Duty when we were pretty much kind of hoping for a uh, past Call of Duty. But yet, guys, this is Treyarch here, and they're going to make it really good Call of Duty. Um, so, yeah, that's what I had to say about the Zombies uh, storyline. The storyline is probably going to be, uh, you know, we might have more than four characters. We might have that. Uh, we just don't know yet. And, guys... Thank you for watching this video, and uh, peace out. Don't forget to li like and subscribe. Smash that like button. And uh, put a comment in below what you want to see next. Uh, more World War, whatever you want to see. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.